So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. After a few glorious days of freedom, Golden realized that much as she loved Thara and all her high country friends, she was too used to her life with the man. And while she was grateful to Thara for his understanding, it was still hard to say goodbye. Come along, Thara, don't be sad, tut tut. Golden will be no further than the man's hut. That's true, Mopoke, but the man thinks I'm dead and I want to keep it that way. I must keep my distance. No damage, eh, Golden? Well, that's good. You got yourself a bit dirty, though. Still nothing a good brushing won't get out. Couldn't find the silver brumby, eh? No surprise there. He disappeared over a cliff some time ago. Phew, all this hot weather. I might zoom down and swipe a drink from the man's horse trough. Hello, hello, hello. So, Goldilocks is back with the man, eh? The boss heard she was on the loose. The drink can wait. I'd better go tell him. What news, Karawang? Ah, Golden is back with the man, mighty sire. <laughs> Interesting. The last I heard, she was seen saving Thaura from falling over a cliff. <laughs> Trust that weakling to need a filly to save him. That's right. Could never happen to you, O oh master of the Mystic Mountains. But if she's been recaptured, Thaura will be pining away for her. May even attempt to free her. Good thinking, sire. He may well do just that. Get airborne, Karawang. Keep an eye on things and report back to me if Thara turns up. Aye, aye, El Supremo. Just as, as soon as I've had a drink. Now, Karawang. Now. All right, I'm going. No drink yet. I'm going. <laughs> Miserable tyrant. Be back soon, Golden. With this dry weather, I'm going to check on the stock. Hit up! <sighs> Man going gallop about, eh? I'd better keep my eyes peeled. If Thaura's going to show, now will be the time. <laughs> what in trembling tadpoles is that? Why, it's a portrait of an incredibly good look. Just a minute. That's me. A mobile pool without the ripples. Something to admire yourself in. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful when you're angry, Karawong. <laughs> 
the mighty Brawl is gonna love this. Come an eagle's dinner. Help! Help! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Defy my instructions. Uh, instructions, holy horsefulness, but... Silence, Dolt! I distinctly told you no drink. But here I find you flapping about enjoying yourself, guzzling down half the river. But, but you don't understand, mighty sire. There was this, this reflective thing, like a mobile pool of water. I was on my way bringing it to you when I was attacked by this huge, mean eagle, which I defeated in mortal combat. <laughs> if the kookaburra wasn't laughing, I would be Karawong. And what's this about a mobile pool? But you could see yourself in it, sire. You've drunk so much of the river of water on the brain. Oh, but it's true, mighty sire. This reflective thing dropped to who knows where and... Find wh it, Karawong. Bring it back to me. Find it? Uh, well, uh, uh, it dropped, you see, when I was just... Find it, Karawong! <laughs> yes, find it, yes, uh, yes, find it. Oh, righty, oh, mighty Brolga. Oh, yes, you can count on me. And don't come back without it! Find it? Easy for him to say that. Should be as easy as finding an echidna quill in a haystack. Find it. Oh, hold it. Uh-oh. Where do you think you're going? Uh, to play with Worry and Bindi? Oh, no, you're not. Even dingo pups have the good sense to stay in the shade on a day like this. Well, maybe I could get some food. No point. <clears throat> Nothing up there. Dried to a crisp. If you're hungry, we put plenty in store last winter. Still some left. Oh, but I'm bored. Stuck in here all day. Yeah, well, better bored than burnt. You can go out when the evening brings a drop in temperature. Until then, you stay put. Oh, but father! Count yourself lucky. <laughs> We're surviving because we live underground, in the cool. And if fire breaks out, we There's no fire, father! We'd smell the smoke. And what would you know? You're staying inside, and if you get bored, you can play with... with that skink on your flaming head. Hmm, let's see now. It was somewhere around here that I dropped that darn thing. I could ask Golden, but all I'd get is some goody-goody lecture about not stealing things. Karawong! Look out! Hey! Teacher, you overgrown feather duster. Ah! Oh! Eh? 
What's this? <laughs> I don't believe it. It's the reflective thing, <laughs> but broken. Mm, I wonder if I can get a bit of it back to show the Brolga. <laughs> Disobeyed me, Karawong. I said no drink! Oh, but, but, but I wasn't, Super Sire. You don't understand. I was following your instructions when this eagle. What? No more eagle tails, Karawong. I suppose you sent this one to its doom, too. Well, uh, uh, as a matter of fact. Ah! I told you to bring back this reflective thing. Now, where is it? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, sire. I found it, but it, it was broken into little pieces and somehow caused f f f fire to break out. Fire? And where, pray tell, is this fire now? Uh, 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 right back over there, sire. Huh? What? You sit there spinning yarns about eagles when a fire is breaking out. Get airborne, Karawong. Check on it and report back to me. Aye, aye, El Capitano. And no drinks! <laughs> oh, no! The fire's spreading, and the man's not back yet. upsetting them. Stone the crows. Too much smoke for a campfire. Clumsy twit has a fire on the go. This is definitely something Thaura should know. Oh, I say, do you smell something funny? Yes, Mew, I do believe I do. Oh, it smells familiar, though, eh? Yes, Mew, it does. It kind of smells like smoke. <gasps> oh, oh, no! no! Panic, panic! Run, Ranger, run, 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 panic, panic! A What's going on? Oh, oops. Sorry, Father. What do you think you're doing? Can't a wombat get in an afternoon snooze without being rammed? Fire, Father. Over near the man's hut. Oh, so what? We're safe and sound in here, like I told you. That's his problem. But it's golden, Father. She's trapped and yelling for help. Oh, typical. And what were you doing out there anyway? Uh, you told me to play with a skink and it ran off. Just doing as I was told. Oh, all right, smart Alec. Now, you stay here. I'll go and check it out. Oh, Dad! I said stay here. <laughs> Oh, no 
sign of the man! And the fire's spreading! Thaura, <laughs> Thaura, where can you be? Please reveal yourself to me. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Mopoke, Mopoke, Murpoke, what's up? Golden's in a panic and raising a shout. She could be grilled by a fire that's broken out. Golden? Fire? Lead the way, Mopoke. What am I supposed to do? I'm just a currawong. <laughs> Those flames will reach Golden in a matter of minutes. We must be able to do something. Wombat coming through. Wombat coming through. <laughs> Wombat. You're a sight for sore eyes. Good on you. No wishy washy platitudes if you don't mind. It's too hot to hang around. Now let's do something about saving Golden. Yeah? Something like what? Boon Boon and Mopoke, spread out. Find the man and see if you can lead him back here. A wombat, you and I will circle around and see what can be done from the other side. <laughs> and you stay right where you are, Karawong. Don't get in the way. In the way? Oh! I'm on my way. Golden! Thara! I knew you'd come! We've got to get you out of here. Fire spreading. You must jump the railings. I can't. I've already tried. Well, then you must try again. <laughs> no way. I... I just can't! <laughs> <laughs> then there's only one thing for it. Wombat, you start digging at the base of the fence post. I'll kick. Ooh! Ooh! Whoop, whoop. Mopoke, have you found him? The man's just over the next rise. I give you my word, I tell no lies. Thanks, Mopoke. You're a legend. <laughs> a Brumby. Yeah! from the hut. So that's what the Brumby's up to. Stay out of the way, do they? <laughs> I'll show them. Thara! Thara! The heat! It's too much! The flames! Hang on, Golden! Yeah. 
stupid. I can't do it all myself. for Carol. One and all, unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, I would just like to say... All I can say is it's such a relief that the man's hut was saved from the flames. Oh, oh, the old prospector was quite near. He and the man showed no fear. With buckets of water, the hut was saved. Oh, 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 what a cheer. Yes, it was such a relief. I'd better get back to him. He'll be wondering what's become of me. Just before you go, Golden, do you have any idea how the fire started? Oh, well, uh... I'd really rather not say. Oh. How about you, Karawong? You're the hero of the day. Any ideas? Oh, um, I, I, I just realised I have a previous appointment with my master, the Brawlga. Uh, bye, all. Hey, <laughs> come back, hero. Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion the whole story may never be known. And where the Karawong's concerned, it's probably just as well. <laughs> <laughs> So the creatures of the high country experienced another brush with fire. And through this they learned that Karawong wasn't all bad. Golden returned to the man. But soon another welcome stranger would join their numbers. <laughs> <laughs>